It's your job to get off stage by kindly, not kindly, because Tesla doesn't work, <laughs> by kindly shouting, DIE! DIE! Not yet. <laughs> After three. One, two, three. DIE! Now you're on your own. Ah, I see it. So, look out the stage, here we go. The story of Derek Cora and the Hula Hoop, chapter the first. It was 4 a.m. <laughs> it was 4 a.m. in the very, very old pub of the Haunted Unicorn. Derek Cora had a gadget in his hand that did nothing at all. <laughs> but he thought it did something very, very special. He waved it at his friends. Look at this fantastic thing that was really great. <laughs> he said, and sure enough, just at that moment, there was a strange sound. It was his spirit guide, Gerald. <laughs> What's that, Gerald? What's that? There's a little girl in the corner. What's she doing? Hey! <laughs> Gerald, in a very quiet voice, said, <laughs> And she was, indeed, stood in the corner of the room, hula hooping. She was a ghost from the past. In the 1950s, she was wearing bobby socks and picture books. <laughs> she was a picture book outfit on. And she wore, this was very popular in the 50s, I don't know if you remember that far back. It was very popular. <laughs> Gerald was sad. He knew that one day he would have to die too. <laughs> now, as a spirit guide, this was somewhat confusing. <laughs>
talk to her, she would say, Say you are a man, you are gentlemen, and we know all about you here in Limbo. We've heard about the way you guide virtually everybody around. Pierre knows about you, and she started to cackle, and she started to cackle really loudly. <laughs> And out of her eyes, and out of her arse, <laughs> like hula hoops from every direction came out of her. She then made a sound of vomiting from the very depths of her back. <laughs> she brought forth all manner of excrement from her inner pores until, until the room was swimming in stuff. <laughs> oh my god, said Derek. Where the hell is all this shit coming from? <laughs> vomit everywhere on me. On me chest, on me back, and on me legs. <laughs> oh, it's me lovely legs. I only shaved them the, the other day <laughs> from when that woman was biting my toe. <laughs> <laughs>
somebody's grievance. <laughs> he what he'd left behind was sad. And they knew that he wasn't bad. He was a good man, really, down at heart. Even though sometimes he would fart. <laughs> that was what he used to do when he was sniffing glue. But now he doesn't like that now. He likes to investigate a <laughs>